Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to E3 2018 with ShackNews.com. I am your host, Charles, the news editor with Shack News. And with me, I have Koji, producer for the newly announced Jump Force. And uh, to translate... Hi, I'm Yuji. Nice to meet you. All right. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Um, so one of the biggest surprises for me this year was Jump Force being announced. Uh, basically, uh, 3D kind of like arena battler. We have some of the best characters from like the Shonen Jump series. We have Naruto. We have Goku. Uh, people have seen Frieza. There's uh, One Piece characters as well. So how long has this game been in development? So <laughs> Yeah, so actually, I don't remember uh, too well, but uh, <laughs> actually, but at least three years. At least three years, yeah. gotcha. Um, I got some hands on time with it. I, I had a blast. Uh, I've played the uh, Ninja Storm games. Uh, was there some kind of like inspiration? Uh, for Jump Force from those games, that series of games? あの、ま、ちょっとデモ気持ちよく戦えるというところをま、yeah, so I think the most important uh, aspect of this game is that we want all the fans to really just kind of get up, uh, pick up the controller and just be able to play and enjoy the game uh, uh, very free form and just really feel good and have uh, that pleasure of playing the game. Uh, so we just wanted to make it uh, really streamlined and so I think this game is very comparable to uh, in gameplay in terms of uh, in, in terms of gameplay, more towards sort of something like Xenoverse 2, okay, or uh, okay. uh, like, like you mentioned, uh, Ninja Storm, or uh, something a little bit older uh, is the Bu the Budokai fighting game series, or the Dragon Ball Budokai. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, so it'll be more comparable to those. Gotcha. Um, so how difficult, well, actually, is the list of characters that's available now, mm -hmm. is that going to be like the launch characters, or are there more coming? まあ、so at E3, this is our uh, initial uh, release of the demo, and we're showing it for the first time. So we have six characters uh, spanning uh, three titles. But uh, of course, we're going to have more and more characters coming out. Uh, this is this is not uh, the final release roster. Uh, so uh, please look forward to fr uh, further announcements as we go on uh, with the development gotcha. process. Understood. Uh, so people that are fans of the different uh, properties definitely know these characters they know and love them naruto luffy and stuff like that um and they also know that they have very distinct art design uh you know if you watch the shows what was behind the decision to go with a more realistic kind of art design for jump force jump force there i don't think i かなりリアルな表現になってるんですけど、えっと、あえてそういったリアルな表現にしようとしたのはなぜでしょうか。そうですね。あの、ま、今回が、ま、週刊少年ジャンプの、ま、50周年というアニバーサリーイヤーで、
So this game is actually a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Shonen Jump magazine series. Okay. Uh, so our intent was to give the fans a huge surprise, like a wow factor to this game, right? That um, definitely worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And uh, so the previous games that we put out, uh, like the ones we uh, mentioned earlier, we were trying to sort of recreate the anime world as it uh, was represented in the manga and the anime series. Uh, so we sort of done that already. People have already seen that. So right, right, we right. want to do. We want to try something di different. We want to uh, challenge ourselves. And so what we came up with was the idea of fusing our real world as we know it and sort of mixing it, fusing it with the manga world, and actually putting that into an actual real world environment and atmosphere uh, to make it more realistic. Uh, and that was something that we've never done before. And so, and that, that is a challenge that we wanted to take on. Uh, so, uh, Got it. yeah. Okay. Um, I know it's, it's still in development at this time, correctly uh, or correct. Um, what kind of modes are in the works uh, for the game? Is there going to be kind of a story that people can follow for a campaign, or is it more so focused on like the PvP uh, aspects of the uh, experience, or just fighting straight up, choosing your favorite characters? ポンペンでどんなプレイモードがありますか を感じる遊びっていうのもありますし、もちろんオンラインモードに対応もしています。あの、今回はやはりこのま、お祭り作品であるジャンポースをま、お客様に長く楽しんでもらいたいというふうに考えてますので、その楽しみ、長く楽し
Uh, there, there are actually special moves that can be triggered from the air. So okay. there are some that uh, can be done from the air, some that is uh, only done in the ground, or some are uh, available both. Uh, so the, the fun of this game is to sort of explore and see what you can do uh, in terms of combos uh, with each of the, uh, with all the available options you have. And so something like Kamehameha uh, can be done from the air. Okay, awesome. Is there a release window for the game? Uh, so at this current time, uh, we're announcing it as 2019. 2019. Yes. Okay, awesome. Thank you all for uh, joining us and talking about the game. Uh, I'm sad that we have to wrap up because I definitely want to learn more about it. Uh, but thanks once again, everyone. That was the uh, basically reveal of Jump Force was here at E3 2018. And Shaq News got to give you some more information about it. Stick around. We've got more coming. We'll see you in the next one.